Did it work? There's no more blood. Are we still in the world of the living? Yes, we are. We will be here forever, unless... I feel a weak presence. Just a spark of life, but it could ruin it all. But you said that Silence. no one could... We need to find the source and remove it. I will do what you please, my new Archon. But where shall we start looking? Go by so quickly. Yet, no matter how long I spend with you, it never seems enough. You know, I'm going tomorrow, so did you consider my offer? I did. And I would love to come with you. But I don't think I can. My destiny is not to be a hero. But my destiny is to be at your side. Just say the word, and I will stay here with you. No, Benedict, you can't stay here. I mean, look at you, standing here in that shiny mail. Don't waste your time in this village. Go and begin your training. I know it was always your dream. Me? I belong here. No matter what the people say, this is home to me. I'm no adventurer. Don't worry. To me, saving the world sounds so much easier than giving you all that you deserve. I won't be away for long, I promise. Careful. Don't promise things you can't keep. Hey! Benedict! Come over here! Something's wrong! Paul, you really know how to spoil a special moment, don't you? Wait here! Don't you dare go away! I'll be with you in a moment. Oh no! Help! Anybody help me! Come on, help me!
What? Benedict! Wasn't as easy as I thought. No. No. This can't be. You are safe now. That's Don't all do that this matters. to me. Please. I I will be with you. Always. Oh, no. My daughter. Who are you? There is no time to mourn your loss. What is this? A dream? You are the only one who stands between life and eternal darkness. I don't understand. What is this about? You must heed my words. You have powers that you do not know of yet. You must learn to use these powers. It is essential. You talk about powers. I have no powers. My love is dead, and I could do nothing to help. I'm no warrior. Why did all this happen? All will be explained soon, but we must move quickly. There is much to learn, for only you have the power to grow, the power to change the fate of your world. My world? There is nothing of value in this world for me anymore. Whatever it is you want from me, you'll have to find somebody else. Listen, my daughter. I will give you my power and protection. There are many ways you can utilize my power. You will be able to see people again. See people that passed from your world. Benedict. Alternatively, you could use your force to crush those who did this. Seek them out and wreak your revenge. Will that comfort you? Yes. Give me the power to see Benedict again. So it is love you seek. Whichever road you choose, your destination remains the same. You must find the Moonblade. Find where I hid it. Then travel to Venice and use it to defeat the undead Archon. The Moonblade? Undead Archon? I don't understand! My time draws near. I can't remain in this world much longer. But do not worry. I will watch over you. And there is no stronger ally than me. Now sleep, my daughter. But I have so many questions. Sleep. All will be easier tomorrow. But... Sleep. Ah. Oh, you're awake. I am so sorry. I just had such a horrible dream. Benedict died and I met... I... I think he was deaf. I was told to find a weapon and go to Venice. I'm so confused. What does it all mean? Oh no, you mean you don't know? That just makes this all the harder. What you think you dreamt was no dream, although I wish with all my heart that it was. You mean, Benedict is dead, but I still feel his presence as if he was with me, right here. Many of us have died. My Joel too will never return home. It feels as though there's a veil obscuring my mind. I can't even think clearly. Don't worry. We all feel it. I'm sure it will soon pass. But you need to get moving. You can't stay here. Find something new to wear. Change out of those tattered clothes. Go ask Matteo. He has a daughter of your age. Matteo? The blacksmith at the end of the village road. You really are confused. He knows a fair bit about blades, too. Why did this happen last night? I know this must be hard for you to understand, but there are dark forces out there searching for you. I've always tried to protect you as if you were my own daughter, but this village is safe no more. You must leave as soon as possible. Get as far away as you can. What are these dark forces? Hush, child. The time for speaking has passed. You must take your leave. But wherever you go and whatever you do, 
You must avoid the mountains at night. Creatures from hell roam freely, and no mortal's blade can cut their undead flesh. If you see them, you must run as fast as you can. You are only a weak child. You would be no match for their strength. Now hurry! Go! Have you ever heard of a thing called a moon blade? Hell and poison! There'll be no talk of such things in my home, however crumbled it may be. Maybe Mafio will dare answer your questions. You always cared for me. I cared for you since you were given to me as a child. I loved you as my own. My parents? I cannot tell you anything about them. This is for your own good. It would not do you well to hear it anyway. Trust me. I still feel weak. You can always rest here if you feel weary. But you must leave as soon as you can. Goodbye. Hey Scarlet, I need to talk to you. Thanks for your help. Still, you must leave the village. As long as you're here, we're not safe. What do you mean? Those assassins. We still don't know where they came from. But they were looking for a stranger. And you're the only villager that no one knows the next of kin. They came for you. Oh, and beware of the Patrono brothers. They hold you responsible for what happened and swore revenge should they see you again. So many good men have died. Who's going to mine the copper ore now? Can you tell me more about the copper? As you know, this village depends on the copper mines. I'm a merchant. Until now, I have sold the ore to traders from Venice. But most of the miners were killed. There's no more food on people's tables and there's nothing left to sell. At this rate, we'll have to abandon San Pasquale lest we starve to death. I think a few of the survivors went down to Ivy Creek. I'm sure they can tell you more. In the meantime, if you find any copper ore on the way down to the mines, I'll buy it off you for a fair price. I need to keep trading somehow. Oh, and before you go, I have an old Imperial sword on sale. It might be useful to defend yourself in the wilderness. If you can me enough copper ore, I'll be happy to sell you the blade. I would like to trade. Hey, Scarlet, come inside my beautiful smithy. Sorry things aren't exactly shipshape. Last night, the roof sprung a leak, and my apprentice got a bit arrow-sick in the corner. Then to top it all off, I had to break my pliers over the long hat of an assassin. Apart from that, though, it's been business as usual. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for some new clothes. Looking as lovely as you are? Well, I can't help you find any clothes, but I've got a daughter about the same age as you. She keeps her clothes in a chest at my house, which is just across the road. If you can find them, feel free to help yourself. Just make sure you bring them back here for me. I'll give them a quick tweak, just to make sure they fit.
Hey, how can I help you? I found those clothes you mentioned. My, my. I guess my girl put on some weight lately. Let me see what I can do. I'm glad my apprentice didn't live to see a skilled armorer turning his smithy into an alteration shop. Yes, don't say anything. It was the best I... Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Fits you like a gauntlet. You know, back in the old days, I used to do this stuff with armor. Rather than just tailoring fancy dresses, if you ever find some armor that doesn't fit you, just bring it to me. I would be glad to put my old skills to the test for you. So, good luck. Uh, but wait a minute. Maybe you could do me a favor, too. I need some new pliers. Ever since that assassin broke mine with his inconsiderate head, it's been a nightmare around here. I think the late ranger had some in his forest hut. I don't suppose you could go and fetch him for me? Of course. Leave it to me. Scarlet! Scarlet! Thank heavens I found you. It's terrible. You're... you're... Calm down. What happened? It's your half-brother, Leon. When those people attacked, he chased after them. He left towards Ivy Creek, but he never came back. Something terrible must have happened. You have to find him. Hey, how can I help you? Do you know anything about a Moonblade? Oh, cripes! The cursed weapon of the dead! So it exists. That wasn't just a dream. No. Well, yes, possible. Look, I'm not really in the mood for such fairy tales. This thing was supposedly forged from a metal that is not from this earth, and it's said that undead creatures can be killed with it. <laughs> if you ask me, there's no such thing as a moonblade, nor are there undead creatures roaming around. These are tales of the mountains, and the miners. Of course, if it is real, and you do find that blade, I'd very much like to have a look at it. In the meantime, you better use some real weapons and learn to defend yourself. I'm sure that brawler at the lower part of the village can teach you some tricks. What are you going to do now? Well, what do you think? I don't have many options. I'll go on working till the end of things, or at least until I find a better smithy. Like in Venice. Oh, how I'd long for a smithy there. If someone offered me a smithy in Venice, I'd move there right away. Oh, but wait. It'd take me about ten lifetimes' work till I could afford such a smithy. So, forget about it. Can I help you somehow? I don't think you've found the place yet. They're in the forest hut, down at Ivy Creek. Goodbye. Hunting? Might be a bit dangerous today, and the mountain pass is blocked anyway. What are you doing here? We're the new militia. We're here to protect the village from any further raids. Those assassins are still about, you know. I hear they're members of an ancient order from the Grim East. Oi, my father's from the Grim East, you know. Yeah, but he's not one of those killing dervishes, is he? No. Well, at least he never mentioned such a thing. At their master's command, they throw themselves down mountains just to prove their loyalty. I know the old stories, and now they're here to fulfill a mission. But what it is, no one knows. What advice can you give me? Well, uh, you should look for a proper weapon before you try anything stupid. And go get some combat training from Brawler before you go out there. Why is the pass cut? We don't know why the road to Venice is blocked. Someone or something. 
is stuck in the gorge, and no one who's seen it has lived to tell the tale. Of course, you're free to go and see for yourself. Please, I need to get out of here now. Fine, but don't blame us when you come back without your head. Um, how could she come back without... <laughs> Shut up, man! Hello. I would like to trade. You saved so many of us, you clearly have the heart of a warrior. Take this necklace, may it give you good fortune, or at least a healthy meal when you reach the windmill. Where is this windmill? It's a tavern, near the bridge to Venice. Thank you. Thanks for your help. You saved my life. How can I ever repay you? I know it's not much, but here, take these ducats. They're all that I have. Thank you. Hello. I would like to... Hey, Scarlet, come over here. Hey, Scarlet, you survived the attack. I did. Why do you sound so surprised? I saw your fighting style last night. <laughs> Luck must have been on your side. In all seriousness, though, there are some things that you have to remember. When you go head to head with your enemy, every last one of them has a weak spot. And there are no exceptions. Everyone. Except you, of course, you've got more weak spots than a four-year-old pumpkin. But last night, I found those bastards' weak spot, and I can show you how to find them, if you want. Also, if you're experienced enough, I can teach you some new combat skills. Teach me new combat skills. It's not much, but it's a start.
Hey, Scarlet. Teach me new... It's not much. Show me how to fight these assassins. Okay, now, I'm going to come at you like an enemy would and perform a standard attack. Only difference is I'm a little more heavy-footed <laughs> and more handsome. Unfortunately for them, their normal attack is also their weakness. Once they commit to the attack, all you have to do is dodge out the way. They're not very fast when they strike, so it shouldn't be a problem for you and you'll be in a perfect position to counter-attack. Now, let's put it into practice. Try to hit me five times with a counter-attack. But if I hit you twice, you lose. Are you ready? Congratulations, you did well. Now that you've learned the basics of combat, you should take this sword with you. It was left behind in the attack. I'm sure you'll know how to put it to good use. Now you should try to find a trainer who can show you how to roll and strike. And if you're experienced enough, then come back and I can teach you some new combat skills. Hey, Scarlet. Teach me new combat. It's not much. Very dangerous out there. If you want an explanation, you better talk to those two chatterboxes at the upper exit of the village. No! Don't! Don't go there! There! They're too strong! <sighs> I don't believe it! What the hell? Go get her! Oh! <laughs> 
There she is! That's the girl who destroyed our village. What? You heard me. You are responsible for all that happened. They were here for you, and now you will have to pay for it. Uh, uh. Now she got what she deserved. Forgive us. We had no idea. You will pay for your treason. Draw your weapon so you can die like a man. <laughs> 